Two-factor authentication is something mandatory that you need to have enabled on your Discord account. Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and in today's video we are going to talk about on how to keep your account safe by setting up a two-factor authentication. But before we move on, if you are someone new to my channel and you don't know what is this channel about, then I make Discord videos regarding to tips, tricks, and tutorials from the very basic level to advanced level. So if you are someone new to Discord or if you've been using Discord for a while and you would like to improve your server growing or expanding or maybe learn some tips and tricks, then make sure to subscribe below and leave a like to this video as well don't forget to comment down high or whatever you want to say just kind of makes me happy seeing you guys around so anyways let's hop into today's topic so if you are someone new to discord note that discord is an amazing place it's a very beautiful place it's a large platform where people join from all over the world all over the internet to build a community but because discord is an awesome place there are a group of people who are bad within discord and who want to ruin this awesome amazing moments that you guys have within the discord itself and to do that they scam you and try to hack onto your account and in order to protect yourself from your account getting hacked you need to enable the two-factor authentication this is where it plays the role so let's see how do we enable the two-factor authentication on your desktop now whether you are on your browser or your discord application in order to enable the two-factor authentication you need to go to your settings which is right here besides your username and profile picture click on the user settings go to my account tab and scroll a little bit down and then you're going to see the option which says enable the two-factor authentication now you press on this button and it's going to ask for the password to make sure you are the owner of this account enabling the two-factor authentication so just insert your password and click continue once you click continue you will be getting another pop-up which is going to say enable two-factor authentication it's basically explaining you the steps on how to enable the two-factor authentication but i will be guiding you guys through these steps so you don't have to worry about that however i'm not really going to record my screen because the first thing is i would like to keep my account safe which means never share your two-factor authentication code with anyone and the second thing is any recording application would turn the screen into black screens when you open these authenticator applications. At least Google Authenticator does that. I haven't really tried any other applications. So just make sure to never share your two-factor authentication code with anyone. So what I am going to do here instead is that I'm going to show you guys the images on this screen, which I have taken from the article that Discord themselves wrote. So feel free to follow these steps. Now, in order to enable the two-factor authentication, Discord gives you two applications as the option to download, either Authy or Google Authenticator. Now, I personally use Google Authenticator because first thing is it's from Google, most trusted, and the second thing is that I have experience on using Google Authenticator for a long time. So, in order to have the 2FA enabled, which is the short form of two-factor authentication, you need to download the two-factor authenticator application on your phone. So install it, whichever you prefer, and then you will be asked to input a method in order to connect your Discord account to the Google Authenticator. Now, there are two options. The first one is scanning through a barcode and the second one is entering the key manually, which is provided by Discord. Now the pop-up that you got on Discord, at the second step, you can see on your left side, the barcode, and the right side below, you can see the key provided, which you have to enter manually. So choose your method, set up the Google authentication system, and you will be asked to enter the six digit codes which Google Authenticator will provide you, add that onto your Discord account, and then you have successfully enabled the two-factor authentication. You will then be getting another pop-up which will congrats you, and then it is going to show you two other options which is going to ask you to either enable the SMS authentication or download the backup codes. Now, I highly recommend you to add your phone number into your account as an extra security layer. And if you don't know why, then I have explained that in my previous videos, make sure to check them out. 
However, if you currently don't want to add your phone number or if you don't have the phone number yet, then do make sure to at least download these backup codes because this will help you to gain the access to your account just in case if you lose the access to your authenticator application. But if you don't want to check either of these options at the moment, you can always go back and check them out later by going to your account settings, my account, and then you will be seeing two options where the first one says view backup codes and the second one below it says enable SMS authentication. Now, in order to enable the SMS authentication, you basically have to click on the enable SMS authentication button, add your phone number and then verify it. And yeah, then you have successfully enabled the SMS authentication. Now there is something called server wide two factor authentication, which discord provides. And this is specifically for your server. If you're someone who's trying to keep your server safe and enlarge your community by keeping it away from getting nuked or getting raided, then I highly recommend you to enable this feature within your server. What this option does is that basically once you have this feature enabled, all of the moderators and admins that you're having within your server, they basically don't have the access to the permission of the administration within the server unless they have the two-factor authentication system enabled within their account. Now, this is highly useful because we understand that as our community grow, we tend to hire moderators and staff that we are really not even aware of and we really don't even know them. And having this enabled, it does mean that anyone with admin power won't get to use these specific permissions unless they enable the two-factor authentication. Now, these specific permissions are like kicking members, banning members, using the administration power within the server itself, managing channels, managing the server itself, managing roles, and managing the messages. So if you really want to protect your server by getting raided or nuked, or in other words, what people say, getting your server hacked, then make sure to enable the two-factor authentication within the server as well. Or if you literally don't care about your server, then make sure to disable it so your server can get nuked and raided. Also, one last thing which I obviously want to mention is that you can enable the two-factor authentication system through your mobile. I'm not sure why is this surprising, but most people don't even realize this. Now, whether you are a iOS user or an Android user, it is pretty simple and easy for both within the same steps. If you are a iOS user, basically what you have to do here is you have to go to your user settings and then press on account and then click on the enable factor authentication. Then you will be asked to either download Google Authenticator or Authy, choose the authenticator you prefer, and then you will be prompted to connect your account to the authenticator app. Once you connect your account with the authenticator app, you have successfully enabled the two-factor authentication. That's simple. Now you can link your phone number to your account to help act as a backup method for obtaining two-factor authentication code. That is to help you just in case if you don't have the access to the authenticator application. And the other way is that you can as well check out the backup codes through the phone. And if you are on Android, these steps are still very simple and similar and exactly the same. You basically click on the user settings, press on the account, and then you have to click on the enable two-factor authentication, choose the application which you prefer to act as an authenticator, connect your account, and then you have successfully enabled your two-factor authentication. And for Android users, you can as well check out the backup codes, as well link your phone number. And this is basically where the tutorial ends. Yeah, so <laughs> do make sure to download the backup codes just in case, especially if you are a user who's not having a phone number at the moment to connect to your account. So yeah, we all need to be aware that nowadays Discord is being attacked by a lot of wrong people out there who are basically hacking into people's accounts and then they're sending their friends links asking them to click on it so they can get the Nitro for free. Never click on these suspicious links. They are all scams and no one is really going to give you a Nitro for free. Keep that in your mind.
If you find a member randomly DMing you and asking you to click on the link saying you want a Nitro, then make sure to never do that and report the person to Discord. However, if you are looking for Nitros for free, well, here I am. This is where I come in, you know. I mean, come on, I'm being generous. So I'm having two Discord servers here. The first one is based on this YouTube channel, which is also based on Discord itself. You can get the support there. And the second one is just basically a hangout place, a safe for work, 18 plus basically. So if you're just a nerd, make sure to join that. And by this, you may just get a chance to talk to me. So that's all for today. Thank you everyone for watching and stay safe.